Good evening and thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Karen Lair. Biologists from Idaho and Canada are working to slow the spread of an invasive species, but what they're after and how they're catching them may shock you. Reporter Michael Severn has the details. Idaho fishing game biologist Michael Lucid along with wildlife experts from Canada are on the hunt in the Boulder Smith Creek wildlife management area near the Canadian border. Not for big game or fish, but invasive bullfrogs. To catch the slimy amphibians, they're giving them a jolt. Chuck her on. Okay, it's shocking. Electrofrogging is an experimental technique that stuns the animals so they can catch them and euthanize them later. Michael says these bullfrogs are making life rough for other species. They spread disease and bullfrogs eat native amphibians and just about everything in their path. One of the animals Michael and the others are trying to protect is the northern leopard frog. They're extinct in the North Idaho range, but a small population live in nearby British Columbia. I was talking to some of my Canadian colleagues and I told them we had bullfrogs really close to the border and they got really worried really fast. Michael says it was Idaho fishing game that introduced bullfrogs to Idaho as a fishery resource, but they didn't know the ecological impact that would follow. Unlike the northern leopard frog, bullfrogs aren't climate sensitive, and warmer waters, in part due to climate change, are making them thrive. Michael says working to stop the bullfrog's northern migration is a temporary emergency measure. So the long-term plan is to, is to create some habitat that will benefit our native amphibians, and, but will preclude bullfrogs from, from breeding. Michael Severin, six on your side. Now, Idaho Fish and Game says they're also working to help prepare the Boundary Smith Creek Wildlife Management Area near the Canadian border for a major climate restoration project that will benefit six species in need.